This time we're going to make a Mars rover. By just using a few items from around the house and a couple things at the store, you'll have some fun putting this rover together. Of course, the first thing you'll need are five pages downloaded from the website. The first page is the solar panel for the top of the rover. The second and third pages are for the rover body and the wheels. The fourth page has 12 wheel covers, and the fifth page has rover faces. Now you'll need two paper towel rolls. You'll also need wooden skewer sticks. Your parents may have to buy them for you. In addition, you'll need scissors, tape, glue stick, and Elmer's glue wall. To make the axles to hold on the wheels, you'll need three straws and three wooden skewer sticks. Now instead of going out to the store and buying some expensive cardboard, you could use a shoebox. Just find an old shoebox around the house, you might ask your mom or dad, or your grandma or grandpa, and what you can do is take apart the shoebox and cut off the edges and begin to use those for part of your project. Now we're going to be drawing hubcaps for the wheels. All you need to do is get a paper towel roll and set it up right like this and then take a pencil and draw around the base. Now you want to do that over and over again. You might get five or six on a piece of the shoebox cardboard. And finally, once you get all of those drawn, you should have finally 12 of these wheel covers, hubcaps, for your wheels on the rover. And now we're going to use the two pages for the body and wheels. So take the first page, and this is kind of important, where the wheels are, cut the bottom strip off right along the black line, all the way to the end. Then cut along the dotted line all the way up to the end of the page. Then take the paper towel roll and put the paper next to it. Be sure to put the wheels down toward the bottom, right along the edge. That's pretty important. Now what I want you to do is put some scotch tape along the edge, and then where the wheels are supposed to be, put three extra pieces of scotch tape down there. That helps to hold them in place. Now wrap the paper around the tube and again put three extra pieces of scotch tape around where the wheels are. And then go ahead and tape the rest of the roll. There you have it. Do that for both of those rolls. Now to cut out the wheels, this is pretty easy. Just flatten the end where the wheels are supposed to be and cut along the black lines. There are three black lines to cut. Once you've cut them, go ahead and bend the wheel a little bit in the opposite direction to get it circular again. Now do the same thing for the other paper towel roll. Cut off all three wheel sections, just like this, and then pop them out and set them down. And now we're on to the next step. Now we're on to the 12 wheel covers. You have a sheet with 12 wheel covers. Now begin to cut them out. And once you have one that you've cut out, just cut very carefully around the curve of the wheel, just like this. It's okay if you're a little bit off, it doesn't matter, as long as you're close. And now you've got all 12 wheels cut out. Great, now we're on to cutting the hubcaps. These are the circles that you drew with a pencil. All you have to do is begin to cut one out, and again, very carefully, as carefully as you can, cut around the circle that you made. Cut a little bit inside the circle if you can. If it's a little off, it's okay. Mine are a little off too, you can tell. They're not all perfectly circular. Well, now it's time to glue the wheel covers to the hubcaps. Make sure to put a piece of paper down so you don't mess up the table. And then use your glue stick to cover the back of your wheel cover and just lay it over your hubcap and glue it down. Do this for all 12 hubcaps. Now this is how you make a hole for each of the hubcaps. First get a piece of cardboard that's fairly thick and then get a ballpoint pen about like this and push really hard in the very center of the hubcap wheel. That's right, just like this. Once you punch through, punch from the other side and swing the pen around just to really open the hole up. Now I want you to take one of the skewers, make sure you cut off the tip of the skewers, so you don't want to poke yourself on that, and then you can slide that through the middle of that hole and widen it just a little bit more. Now slide it up and down just to make sure the hole is wide enough. And do this for each hubcap. Now we're going to go ahead and tape each of the center paper towel rolls together. This will make up the center of the rover. First, stand them up and put a piece of tape and connect each side. Turn it over, take another piece of tape and connect the other side, and there you have it. 
Now we'll be using three straws to help put the wheels on. If they're the bendy type, just make sure you use the opposite end where the bend is. Now we want to measure that. Each one of these should be about four inches in length, so mark each one at four inches. Now all you have to do is take the scissors and cut each one to the right length. And once we're done with that, we need to tape them on. So take the first one and just put it toward the bottom. It doesn't have to be exactly at the bottom. And once it's centered, take a piece of tape, tape one side of it on. You could even slip a piece of tape under the paper towel. And then put the other side on and there you have it. Make sure it's good and straight because the wheels will roll better that way. Now we'll do the middle and then you finally do the end and there you have it. The next part is fitting the hubcaps onto the wheels. Now when you fit them on at first they might be a little too large to fit inside the wheel. So what you can do is trim around the curve of the wheel like that. Just don't cut off too much of the wheel at once. You want to make sure it just fits inside but it's not too loose. Now it's time to tape the hubcap inside the wheel. Now try this. Take a piece of tape and split it in half. Then lay the first piece of tape over the hubcap with a little bit of tape hanging off each end. Then take the other piece of tape and lay it across the other way with a little bit hanging off still. Now you'd want to punch the hole again to make sure the stick will fit through. And then take the stick and push it through as well to make sure you have a good fit. Now it's time for gluing it. Take the Elmer's glue wall and put just a little dab all around the inside edge of the wheel. Now once that's done, go ahead and pick up the hubcap and gently press it just inside. You don't want it going inside very far though and the tape will stop it from going too far. Then press the tape onto the wheel and there you have it. Now turn it over and I'll show you a different way you can put the hubcap on. Take a small piece of tape, actually need four of those, and lay them toward the outside edge of the hubcap wheel. That way you won't have to repunch the hole in the middle. So you can give that a try too and see which technique works best for you. Again, just take the Elmer's glue wall and put a little bit all the way around the inside edge of the wheel. You don't need much, but it's important to have that so it all stays in place. Now go ahead and take the hubcap, turn it over, and press it very gently into the end of the wheel, just like that. Again, lay the tape down so it's all in place, all while being careful not to push in the opposite side of the wheel. So once that's all set, you can set it aside, and I would suggest leaving it overnight to dry. Now it's time to make the axles. What you'll need is a ruler and also a pencil to mark it. What you need to do is get one of the wood skewers and get a ruler. And if you could uh, measure that, it's about six and a half inches in length. That's what you want. So make a pencil mark right there at six and a half inches. And what you need to do is go ahead and get your scissors. Now you won't be able to cut through the stick, but that's okay. Just cut at it firmly all the way around. This will weaken it just enough so you can snap it in half using just your thumbs at the weakest point. Now you can use your first piece of stick as your measuring stick and make the marks on the other two remaining wood skewers. Now once you do that, again, take your scissors and cut firmly all the way around and then use your thumbs to press on the weakest point, wiggle it back and forth and it'll just snap right off. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be close. And now for another fun part, we're going to glue it together. What you need, again, are one of the sticks, one of your wheels that has dried overnight. Put some glue on one end of the stick and then press it all the way through one side until it kind of pokes out the other. What you want to do, too, is put a little bit of glue on the side that poked out and then press it back in just a little bit. That way, it really glues at both the outside and the inside hubcaps. Do this for all three axles. Give them several hours to dry. Once they've dried, go ahead and take the axle and slide it through the first straw. Now what you're going to do is put a little bit of glue on the other end of that stick, and what you can do is raise that end up so the other wheel is sort of supporting it, and then slide the new wheel on and put a little glue on the outside as well, slip it back in just a little bit, and then you're all set with that wheel. Now move on to the next axle and then the third do the same thing. Slide it through and put the other wheel on. 
And now we're heading into the final stretch. On Mars, you won't use gasoline. You'll use solar power to get going. So what you do is take your sheet with a solar panel, cut along the black line on both sides, and there you have the solar panel. Now, what you want to do is get a piece of cardboard from that shoebox, take the solar panel and put it on a corner of the cardboard. Take your pencil and draw along the outside edges. Now once you've done that, just take your scissors and cut the cardboard out. Again, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Now, go ahead and get another piece of paper to keep your work area clean. Turn your solar panel over on that, use your glue stick then, and go ahead and put a lot of glue on the back side of this. Now, being very careful, lay it gently on top of the cardboard just where you like it, and then press it down to put it all in place. Now it's time to put the faces and back on the rover. Now I've included two different faces for the rover. On this one, I'll just use the top one for this exercise. I like to cut the excess paper off first and then go very carefully along the edges to get the final product done. Now again, take a piece of that cardboard and place this on a corner. And take your pencil and go ahead and draw lines on the two exposed areas. Then get your scissors and go ahead and cut that out as well. Now take your glue stick and go ahead and put plenty of glue on the back of this faceplate. And then take it and go ahead and lay it carefully onto that piece of cardboard until you're happy with it. And now it's time to cut out the back plate. Just cut around, cut it very carefully, lay it on a piece of cardboard where you find a corner edge, draw your pencil line around the outside edges, and then cut that out as well. And glue it down and we're ready to go. Now we're ready to tape the final pieces together. Take the solar panel and place it on top of the paper towel rolls. Now take a piece of tape, tape one side into the paper towel roll like that, and tape the other side on. Make sure it's centered on top of the rover and the wheels. Now turn it around and do the same thing on the back part. If you notice, the center white line on the solar panels is really the center of that cardboard. It could help you make sure you've got everything in place. Now it's time to put on the face plate. Just go ahead and apply two pieces of tape like you see me doing here and attach it to the solar panel on the front. On the underside, you can stand it up sort of like this. On the underside, take two pieces of tape again, place them on the face plate, and then the other end just push underneath the rover down by where the axles are. Do this on both sides. Now, once you're done with that, turn it around and put on the back plate. Now, I've sped up the film here a little bit, but it's done the same way as the face plate. The two pieces of tape on top and the two pieces of tape on the bottom. And now it's time for your rover to start rolling on Mars. Have some fun with it. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for even more videos and projects.